YouTube Biotechnica. Welcome to another video. So I'm going to answer a question which is usually asked by most of the viewers. Starting a CSIR net preparation in your BSc or MSc. So I'll be talking about this topic in detail. Suppose if you are one of them who are having this question in your mind, then this video is definitely going to help you. So watch out the video completely so that you understand whether to start your preparation in your BSc or MSc. So let's discuss about in detail. Hey everyone, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So let's ask this question from all of us. So is it important for all of us to start a CSIR net preparation in BSc or MSc? So if you have that question, I'm going to tell you, yes, it is really, really important to start your CSIR net preparation either in your BSc or in your MSc. So why it is very important? You might be having this question in your mind, why do I have to start my preparation earlier? So I can start my preparation even after MSc and I can solidly spend one year of time to clear the CSIR net, then I'm going to tell you that's not fair enough for you to take a break and then you can literally apply and then start uh, studying for this examination and proceed on. Instead, you can be prior of all the competitors who will be competing with you. Suppose if, let's imagine this way, if you're going to start your preparation during your bachelor's and master's, so after that period of time, you would be having, suppose if you're starting it by BSc first year. So BSc first year, if you're going to start three years of your time along with two years of your master's which means five years you solidly have a lot of time to study a wonderful standard books along with you will strategize yourself so which means you will get to know how the examination works and you'll be prior or ahead of all the competitors who's going to write the examination with you which means it's going to be a wonderful strategy if anybody wants to clear CSIR net examination. So if you're going to ask me a question, is it important? I'm definitely going to say, yes, it is really, really important to start your CSIR net preparation or any preparation in your bachelor's or in your master's. Now, why it is really important? If you're going to ask me a question, why it is really important to start it earlier? The first thing is you stay stress-free. Suppose let's take it if anybody is starting their preparation by bachelor's second year, BSc Biotechnology or BSc Microbiology, or any of the life science in the second year. You don't have to be very much stressful as if you have to solidly spend one year completely to study like after your MSc. You can spend a lot of time for one chapter itself. If you're going to talk about unit one for biochemistry, molecules and their interaction, you can spend a lot of time. You can even spend two months of your time, three months of your time because you're going to study it for three years of your BSc. Along with that, you, if you're starting it by MSc, you can spend a lot of time during your two years of your preparation, which is going to help in your college syllabus also. So this is definitely going to make a stress-free situation. Suppose if someone who have started their preparation after MSc, if you hear it from them, of course, they go through a stress, but they will think to clear this examination sure shot. So this is one of the advantage if you're going to start it earlier. So you're going to remain stress-free if you're going to start it earlier and be consistent of studying it every day. The next thing is enormous time to plan your study schedule. Yes, if you're going to start in your BSc or if you're going to start in your MSc, you can plan your timetable because we have 13 units. Out of 13 units, if you were able to handle 9 to 10 units properly having a schedule for you, so within six months, you can have a very wonderful plan. Suppose if you have two years of your preparation, then you can have a wonderful plan for you to strategically move and clear this uh, CSIR net examination. So you have a lot of time to plan a schedule. The next thing is the most important thing for any competitive examination, whether it's CSIR, a GATE or ICMR, practice is very, very important. You need to know how the examiner is going to ask a question. So you need to practice lot many questions. If you're going to only read any kind of book or study materials, if you're not going to know how to approach a question, it's definitely going to be a vain for you. So you need to practice lot many questions to understand how the question actually comes in your examination. And the most important thing for anybody who writes CSIR net examination is definitely going to be revision. Because you might be well versed in your unit number one to unit number 13, but if you're not going to revise it, you would not be able to answer even a direct question. If any logical question or analytical question is asked, if you have an idea, you would be able to answer. But but if there is any kind of direct questions like in part B, if it's going to come, if you have not revised it, it's definitely going to reduce your mark for you. 
So practice and revision becomes a habit for you. If you're going to be consistent of practicing and revising from your bachelor's or from your master's, it becomes a habit for you. If it becomes a habit for you, definitely it's going to make you a wonderful way of leading into your goal of clearing the CSA or net. The next important thing is early study sessions works better. Of course, if you're going to learn anything before, it really works than a person who reads some unit. Suppose let's consider this way. Suppose if you're starting it by today, so I'm going to give you a one month time for you to study unit number one, which means you study more. Suppose if I'm going to give a person a only one unit, you have to study within three days, which means he has to study all the things within three days, which means you have a lot of time for you to study. So you start a bit early also and for a long duration also. So early study sessions really works better if you have to clear your CSA net examination. The next thing is of course, CSIR syllabus is designed in a way that it doesn't affect your uh, college syllabus. Suppose if you're going to see CSIR net syllabus from unit 1 to unit 13, if you're belonging to botany or zoology, almost most of the things are correlated except few units because everybody has cell biology and molecular biology except plant and uh, uh, system physiology and animals are going to be different. You have genetics whether it is both the cases, which means it is going to synchronize with your college syllabus. So definitely it's not going to affect your CSIR uh, syllabus or along with your college syllabus. So you don't have to worry that you have to concentrate a lot on your college syllabus getting a rank or university rank. Instead, this is going to help you to help uh, your CSIR syllabus also along with your college syllabus also. So it is like a double demark offer for you. So you have to remember this one. What's the next one? Focus on the fundamentals becomes easier. Yes, if you're going to start a bit earlier, you can learn a lot of things. Suppose if you're starting with one topic, let me take it as in cell cycle. So if you're starting with a cell cycle, you'll get to understand every point in it, like why a mitosis has to happen, what happens in a metaphase, what are the cell arrest things that's going to happen. So everything you will learn fundamentally and your basics becomes very, very stronger. So this is going to help you really, really good if you're going to start it a bit earlier. And it's going to be a one stop solution for a long term goal. If you really wanted to become a researcher, and this is definitely going to help you and it's going to be a one stop solution for a long term goal. And as it is very important for any competitive examination, if you're going to start off, you need to have a standard book. We have a lot of standard books for each of the unit, which we usually know and we have videos on it also. So you need to have a lot of time to understand the standard books. You need to know what comes in the book, Albert Bruce, or you have to go it for Gilbert book or Tears and Zeger. So whatever Leninger book, whatever you're going to study, you need to study the standard books. So of course, you will not have a lot of time to study all your standard books if you're going to constrict yourself for one year of time. But if you're going to start a bit early, you have a lot of time to study. So time to study your standard books. It is definitely going to help you. And the next important thing is it helps you to analyze what to study first. Suppose if you're going to start any preparation in a hurry, you would not know what to study first and what not to study first. So during this preparation, if suppose let's take it the first six months you are in a fuss and you do not know what to read. So that six, six months of period will tell you what to study first. So you will analyze yourself what to study first and you will get to know do not take any tough units one after the other. If you're studying unit number one, you can go for easy units like two. So you do not have to or you can take a correlation units like two and four together or a three and uh, eight together. So you can take units which are kind of correlated and not the tough units one after the other. This comes out of practice, which will happen only if you're going to start a bit earlier. And the most important thing for any aspirant is make a personalized note. If you're going to have your personalized note during a revision time, you will get to know what is important because it is your note only you can understand. So this long duration of time can make you analyze and make you to do a very well planned personalized notes. It can be in the form of mind maps or flowcharts, anything. It will really help enough. Helps you to realize that it is not going to be tough. If, of course, if you're going to start a bit earlier, you'll get to know. Yes, of course, CSAR is not going to be that tough because you solidly have a lot of time to prepare. So this is not going to give you a stress. That's what I mentioned initially. It will give you a stress-free situation. So the next thing is upgrade to a fast learning technique. Yes, when you are in your early stages of your preparation, uh, 
when you start you will think like one unit is taking a lot of time but what you will do instead you will look in for some shortcuts to learn the unit a bit faster so that you can revise a lot of time and read a little bit of time so it will help you to analyze what's the fast learning technique that is applicable for you not for others so you will get to know that and the next important thing is handle stress and problems yes so if you're troubling for almost 6 months the next 6 months is going to be very smooth smooth for you suppose if you're going to start earlier if you're in the stressful situation of 6 months you don't have time to study at all so handle stress and problems will be very easier if you're going to start a bit earlier and definitely when you're going to compare with people who start a bit late and people who start a bit earlier people who start a bit earlier with consistency is definitely going to be more confident about the examination because they have a lot of time to prepare and definitely they are going to win in the race which a lot of people are going to compete together and invest on success not work on the success yes so very important thing is it's not important that you're going to work on the success you have to invest to get the success which means you have to put a lot of time to study and revise and practice then only you can achieve the success you just ha don't have to work on it but invest to get the success so that's more important that you will realize if you're going to start a bit earlier and you will have a lot of time because a lot of people when they start a bit later they would be concentrating on the subject like life sciences part b and part c but they used to miss out part a but if you're going to start a bit earlier you can spend some almost one and a half hour time or two hour time to practice part a questions like it's going to be a booster package for you of course if you're going to do it well in part a your mark is going to increase so you can learn some very simple things like permutation computation combinations data analysis and many verbal reasoning non-verbal reasoning you can literally just go through the book and start solving previous year question papers also the next important thing is suppose if you are going to give a mock test you'll get to know what are the mistake that you make in case of part c questions a simple word can literally make changes. So you will analyze the mistakes through the mock test that you will be doing during your lot of time. And the next important thing is it enriches the clarity to understand question. This is most important thing when you're approaching any question. First understand what the question asks for so that you will understand the clarity. You will get it to understand the question. If you're not going to understand the question properly, you'll miss out the answers. So it will help you to be clarified to understand any kind of question and suppose if you go wrong in the six months of your preparation it will help you to tell you yes follow a new strategy to solve any questions easily that's a rejection method all of us knows it's going to be a rejection method suppose if the option doesn't goes well with it then you just reject the option and click on to the answer which is actually correct so it will help you to discover many many strategies suppose if you're taking one topic if you're going to read it for the first time, you will know the mistake initially, but when you're going to read it three, four times, you will understand the concept more faster. The same way when you start solving a question, you'll understand how to approach a question and how to reject the wrong answers. So it discovers some new strategy for you to solve the questions easily also. And of course, if you start earlier, your exam pattern familiarity will be very, very easy for you. And most important thing is I told you revising and remembering and revising everything properly is very important. So remembering is made easy. Suppose if you're going to prepare it later, suppose let's take it one year only after your MSc. So if you're not going to prepare it properly, you don't remember things properly. But if you're going to start during a bachelor's or master's, you can remember many things very, very easily. And depth knowledge, yes, as I already mentioned, if you're going to read one topic, you'll have a very depth understanding of that topic and you will know how to approach a question. Suppose let's take it in case of genetics, you'll know how to approach numerical questions as well as part A question. And it also helps you to manage time because you have a lot of time to practice mock tests you can literally manage the time very accurately. And battleground is same. Yes, of course, if you're going to write your semester examinations or your CSIR net examination, you almost have all the syllabus and the topics are similar. So the battleground is almost going to be same for your CSIR exam as well as for your college exam. And the most important thing during your preparation, if you're going to start earlier is you learn more and you grow more. This is the most important thing that you will really feel when you start a bit earlier. So we said today, 
like what's the important of starting a CSA or net examination earlier? You can start either in your BSc or you can start either in your MSc. But it's always important that you start during your graduation itself. Suppose if you're someone who are watching out this video and you're pursuing your BSc and thinking to clear CSA examination, then I'm telling you this time is going to be a wonderful opportunity to start because you get to know something initially itself. So that you can sprout out and you can literally become Become a wonderful person clearing this examination and you can be the role model too. So I believe that this video is definitely helpful for people who have a lot of confusion whether to start a bit earlier in BSc or MSc then I'm going to tell you yes for it. So start early and the success is on the way. So thank you everyone for your time and I'm going to meet you back again with an yet another wonderful video. Thank you all of you. If you really like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel Biotechnica. Thank you all of you.